Okay, today I'm going to uh, attach the armature to this board and I've put a three inch screw here to attach the leg to because this will give it strength and it won't move. I, I got a feeling I got this uh, set too much of an angle. I'm going to have to reset that. But first, I'm going to take uh, the drawings I have of uh, the eagle feathers uh, and scale them to the one inch uh, figure or one inch head length of this figure. Pardon the fact that I'm uh, holding this camera by hand. This is a, a program I have called Printmaster Gold 18. And what I did was I photographed a ruler over here where my cursor is, right there. And to scale anything down, I know the head length on the Indian that I'm working on right now is going to be one inch uh, long from the top of his head to the bottom of his chin. <clears throat> so I've got this ruler set at uh, 11 inches uh, from the top, bottom of the page to the top page. That scales it automatically for uh, the uh, printed page. And then all I do is keep downgrading the width. Down, see this, this right here where my cursor is? That's the head length in comparison to the feather. Now I'm just shortening it up until it matches a one inch uh, measure and I'm gonna put the bottom of the uh, head measurement right on the one and I'm gonna keep doing this until I get down to the two inch. Now I have to do the same thing. Uh, with the uh, width. I'm going to take this, twirl it around till it's like that, and I'm going to do the same thing with the, uh, the width of it. Put it on the one inch line, and then just bring it down till the other one matches up with the one inch line. All right, that automatically gives me a one inch head length scale for these feathers. All right, I'm going to take this and do the same thing with it. Now to double check, I've printed out a sheet and I just uh, put my ruler down on the line to see if I'm within it. And as you can see, I'm just a little over an inch, so I'll just adjust it a little bit. Let me make sure it's uh, the right length this way. Yeah, see, it's just a little bit over, so I've got to come down just a little bit more in uh, length of the head. So, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, this one's <clears throat> one inch scale, and you can see how small the feathers are compared to... Uh, what they would be large size, but it, it scales it all down. This is the uh, one inch uh, ruler here that I've scaled down. It's now scaled automatically to the one inch uh, measurement so that uh, if I have something that's seven inches long, I can find the seven inches right there. Anyway, um, then I save this uh, layout uh, or project on my computer. And uh, so the next time I have a one inch scale, I've got it automatically done. And I do that with each time I do a scaling project so that uh, I always have it on hand. This is the wingtip uh, feather of an eagle. This is uh, the center feather of the tail of the eagle. These are hawk feathers. I think this is either the, I think this is a wing feather, but I'm not certain of that. Uh, it could be the side feathers of the uh, tail of the, the golden eagle too. Um, but here's the head measurement. It's automatically scaled the width of the head and everything like that. All right, I'm going to get to work now on the uh, wax. Now, I'm not getting anal with this piece. I just need to have the right size so at least it looks, uh, you know, correct. All right, the scaling of that one inch uh, head length is finished. And now I'm going to attach him to this uh, screw. And I got a feeling I should have probably left a little bit 
more on the bottom so I could uh, really make this a little more I'll keep it from twisting like this I think once I put the wax on it though it'll be fine uh, but I'll have to wait and see I'm gonna bend him forward because he's dancing and moving forward bend that leg there I'm gonna have to get this light up here so I can get out of my way um, I want to bend it. Let's make sure I've got this correct here. That should be two head lengths down to the knee, which would be right there. Not where I got a bent. So let's mark that. And uh, let's see, let me double check it. Yep. And that should be right to there, too. And I've got it just a little too long. So, I'm going to have to take that off. And that might work in my favor, because it gives me a little extra length that I can attach the uh, thing to the base. So, let's do this right before I start. Never, never good to start something and have it start off wrong. Because all that does is it starts off wrong. <clears throat> so let's rebend this. Straighten that out. Now bend the knee right there. You got to be careful when you mark the uh, copper tube because, especially when you nick it like I did and you bend it too much, it'll break. And then we'll go down two heads. That's to the bottom of the foot. And uh, that would be right there. But that's fine. Okay, right there. And I get a hold of it right there. And I'll bend the foot. Okay. That'll give me the direction of the foot. And uh, this one here, I need to... Redo. This is uh, just a little fine tuning before you start actually putting wax on. It's always best to catch your mistakes before you start a piece. That needs to be straightened out. I'm going to use a hammer for that. If I can find my hammer. Oh, it's open. Where's my hammer? Oh, there it is. heads down from the femur where the femur bends. Yeah, that's right to there. And uh, then we'll go down two heads for the bottom of the foot, which would be right there. I'm going to mark that. Okay. Now, I want a little bit of a foot for this to plant itself on. There we go. Let me just rewrap it. Now the head of this screw is going to be in pro a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it behind. In fact, I'm going to bend the screw a little bit because this is just too much of an angle. And I'm going to put the uh, leg right in front of it so that it comes out that angled or that head will be right back where the, the leg is or the calf of the leg is wider. And then I'm going to tape that.
and that way it's hidden in the wax. There we go. Electrician's tape is just indispensable for stuff like this. And that little bit of electrician's tape got dirty so it doesn't stick well, so I'm going to just cut it off. All right, and that one is too, so sometimes the oils from your hands will make a tape uh, just a little bit less sticky. So you just cut it off. There we go. Now I'm going on the movement from what I saw on my tape, and I'm going to take his arm up like this, now, they would have their arm bent down with the elbow down. Let me readjust the elbow. And uh, just like that, to look like an eagle's wing. And I'm going to put it up like that a little bit and bring this one down like that and twist his body around like that. I want the feather end feathers to touch the base here. That will give it strength so that this leg doesn't have to take all the weight of the uh, Eagle Dancer. Yeah, I can see right now I need to move the screw over a little bit because the feather will come out past this board. So let's go ahead and do that now. Not sure I can do this without cutting away some of this tape. In fact, I'm going to take some of this tape away right now. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put it right over here. Right there. Good. And see this little angled piece right down here? Uh, see if I can get the camera to see it. That will act as resistance when I put wax on the uh, base. See, I'm going to bring the base up, oh, maybe that high. That way um, it's got a, you know, some place for the uh, uh, bronze to be attached to the base, or the wooden base. And, uh, okay, and I'm going to take that arm up like that. I'm going to twist his body just a little bit. There we go. All right. I'm going to redo this tape here because I got screwed up. But before I do that, I'm going to anchor him down good. I want to keep the uh, end feathers so that the longest length of this board is right to there so those feathers will hit the uh, base. All right, I'm going to start putting wax on the base. First, I'm going to figure out the length of his leg is two head lengths right to there. Let me make sure I'm right because I got it. If you remember yesterday, I drew out the uh, head lengths. Yep, that's uh, where it comes down to, right to there. So we're just going to put a piece of wax up to that point. Let's see. So that establishes the length of the leg. Now I can make the bottom leg, in fact, sometimes it's advantageous to make the bottom of the leg just a little longer than normal because it'll sometimes look really good that way. And uh, anchor that thing down. Now see, there's the little foot right there and when the, the, the wax hardens up, that foot will be held in place. And this, I like the movement of this right now. 
It's looking good. All right. There we go. Now, like I said, when that hardens up, it will uh, be in the right place. Which means I'm not going to be able to work on this until the, the wax hardens up a lot. And it's going to be about an hour, maybe, uh, at room temperature here. So I'm going to pretty much call it quits for today. I'm going to work on this tomorrow, because I, or even later on tonight, and uh, put a video up uh, uh, late tonight or, or tomorrow morning. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But I just wanted to get that uh, on there. And we'll see how this works out. I don't know, that may be too big, that head of the screw. But I'll figure that out when it comes time to do this. Uh, actually, you know, they would wear uh, fur on their legs. So that may work out fine. Make sure everything's in balance because he's got to be balanced uh, or else it won't look right either. If he looks like he's going to fall over or fall forward, uh, the movement changes the center of balance. If you're standing from the collarbone, from the center of the collarbone down to the instep of the foot, if he's standing on one foot uh, or putting his weight on one foot, would be right at the instep. That's the center of balance. And you've always got to think of center of balance and everything's got to be balanced so that it's believable. Although this is going to be more of a dream piece, so who knows. But I like the uh, wing shape uh, movement of his, of his uh, arms here. And that will all work out nicely too. Alright, I'm going to just let that set up. Because if I start messing with it now, it's going to keep moving that uh, foot around. And it's going to wear a hole where it is right now. And then it never will set up properly. I think I will tape that once more. You just have to be patient. You can't rush things. And you got to know when to call it quits and uh, let it set up. It's uh, like anything else, you just have to have patience. All right, that's it for now, and uh, I'm going to leave it like that for a little while. I'm going to sculpt in the body quickly, the head, uh, all that stuff, the face, and then I'll add the clothing and the uh, feathers. But uh, I think you can get an idea of what it's going to look like. Actually, I want to, this is his neck, and I bend it up just a little bit like that, so that he's looking. Let's see. I'm going to use the circle as the direction of his head. Yeah, just like that. There we go. And he's looking off in this direction. And he's moving in a circle. Alright, that's going to be it.